Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your Apple TV first generation. We're going to install a Linux based Kodi system, which will also allow you to run Linux. So first thing you want to do is download the OSMC software. I've already done that. Alexa, pause. She sucks. And then uh, once you have the OSM see <laughs> software installed on your USB device you want to go ahead and uh, you can do it to where you either temporarily have it on the USB and just run the software right off the USB or you can put it on the USB so that you could install it on the Apple TV so it's permanent um, I went ahead and did it so it's permanent because I'm gonna be trying other things like installing a graphics card once I have it on the Linux side. So the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure it's off and unplugged. Stick your um, USB into the back of the Apple TV one and then plug in the power. All right. And we should see something starting to happen. As you can see, that's the little Lennox guy on top of the Apple TV, and he's doing his thing. I did this once before, but I'm not really sure how long it takes, to be honest. Okay, it says, please remove USB stick, unplug the Apple TV, wait 10 seconds, and plug the Apple TV back in. So, let's see. Oh, it's hard to do this with one hand. Removing the USB stick, and we're going to unplug the Apple TV. 10 seconds. All right, there we go. Plug it back in. And we wait again. And I don't know how this works on uh, older TVs. I got a 4K TV, and um, I notice it automatically sets the resolution to 1080p. So, just a little fun fact. I think my TV's on. Yes, it is. Oh, maybe it wasn't off. <laughs> stupid thing was doing its thing. <laughs> Alright, down we go. It's installing files.
So this Apple TV's got an Intel one gigahertz processor. And it's got an Nvidia graphics card. So I'm hoping that I will be able to install a graphics card on here once I'm on the Linux side. Hoping I can get the drivers. I just got an adapter. Let me show you guys. This guy here. And where's the other part? Ah, right here. So this goes in where the Wi Fi card is. And I also got this little adapter so I can hook up an SSD. So watch out for those videos. And there you go. So it took took us almost eight minutes to do all this, but uh, that wasn't so bad. And just remember when you're downloading the software onto the USB stick to have a good internet connection, because if not, it will error out. And that only takes a few minutes if you do have a good connection. So, and then from here, you just go and play with the settings and set it up. And then you can put your skins on Cody and uh, make it feel like a regular version of Kodi and then install your sources and you can also exit out of this and get into Linux which I'm not going to show you right now but we'll be back if you like this hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't blow me I don't really care have a good day